Every year, I write one of these as a snapshot of my year to document my growth, my pains, and highs. This year started off on such a high, with so much hope and optimism for my future and self-growth. Admittedly, 2019 is a hard year to top, and honestly, this year doesn't top that. But it's led me on other paths of self-discovery and growth. The serotonin was overflowing at the start of the year, traveling to Bangkok. Creating great memories and forging new dear friendships. Then came all the love and support from my hall play performance. And looking back, I really couldn't ask for anything more pre-COVID, and I am so grateful I got to experience all of that before COVID hit. I spent the first half of the second semester of my first year soaking it in, nurturing my friendships, new and old. Finally, found it in myself to let go of some old friendships. And spent more time blossoming existing ones. This year, I was challenged in all sorts of ways. Pre-COVID, I went vegetarian for 40 days of Lent. Being a huge meat lover most of my life, it was hard. But I've been finding more ways to eat healthier and more sustainably, and be more conscious with my eating habits. I cooked so much more. Like I found so much more love for veggies and pushed myself to really finish the 40 days. Like seriously, I couldn't go a day without meat in the past, and I really never saw this coming. So, this is definitely one of my greatest accomplishments of the year. I learned to be more independent too. Living alone really forces you to grow up so quickly, from settling all my meals and chores and the journey of self-discovery. I learned more about what it meant to be truly alone with myself and to be okay with that. Then COVID hit. That was a really confusing time for the world, for me and my mental health. I started the year on such a high with an invincible spirit and optimism, which quickly ceased. As an extrovert, I really value my time with the people I love. Immediately, my life turned 360. I had to move back home. Quarantine meant no more meeting my loved ones that I used to be surrounded with daily. Having to study for finals and adapt to being alone in quarantine. All happened so quickly, and it didn't make anything better. It was hard, very hard. I had to learn how to find a routine, be okay with being alone, find new ways to communicate to ensure my sanity. Post finals and circuit breaker, I found new ways to entertain myself. I spent more time baking on passion projects, finally clearing out my closet, reading. And learning to communicate with my loved ones and myself in a more meaningful and creative way, whether it was pushing myself to make a FaceTime call and not be a hermit, or editing more videos and start journaling, I really learned more about myself during that period, in ways I would never without COVID. When we could finally go outside again, not gonna lie, I felt lost. I had to readjust all over. When I was starting to get comfortable and ease into a routine. The world decided I had to learn how to socialize in real life again. Did a virtual internship, went out a ton, caught a strange disease, drank a whole lot of coffee, and cried over my grades a lot. School was tough on me this year. Maybe it was the freshman optimism wearing off, the harsh reality of competitiveness and mugging hitting me hard and leaving me jaded. I struggled a lot this year in balancing my mental health, my playful spirit, relationships, and my schoolwork. Whole summer was great. Much needed break also turned me into a massive mugger. I moved into a new campus accommodation four weeks in. Had to adapt to online school. Hermited more. Met the most beautiful souls and support system. And also learned how to cook more things in my microwave than I probably should be. My birthday was also really different for me this year. Usually I'm extra. And throw myself a party and have grand plans for celebrating my birth, but given the circumstances this year, adjustments had to be made. I had a lovely birthday with small groups of my loved ones, and it was nice to have that for a change. This year was really one of nurturing my relationships. My brother has been growing up a lot recently, and circuit breaker really forced schools to close and for us to spend a painfully large amount of time together. We fought, we talked. Had lots of fun and just became closer than ever. Like seriously, we're best friends now. Not going to school physically also meant there was no longer a reason for my friends and I to meet up, to study, or to have lunch in our canteen. 
but it also allowed me to tune out a little and be more present and intentional with my meetings, nurturing the friendships and relationships that mean the most to me. Partied a lot, rip liver, with different friends to milk as much social interaction within safe guidelines, learned to really slow it down and enjoy life more. I guess at the end of the day, 2020 was just crazy for the world and was full of changes. I grew up a lot, learned a lot about myself and being by myself, laughed a lot, cried a lot, experienced a lot. And now on to 2021, where I become an actual adult and have to figure out my life from there. Have a good one. I'll see you then.